Have you ever wondered if it's possible to play the main levels of Geometry Dash in an unintended way, like hitting these gravity pads on X-Step or skipping this orb on Polar Guys? Today, I played four main Geometry Dash levels that way. If you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, and join my Discord server with the link in the description. Let's go! Hello Internet, this is Alias, and welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. I just came back from the gym, it was leg day, and I feel like death. So today we're gonna be doing main levels the incorrect way. I probably shouldn't be doing an intro because I don't have much time to record for the following reason. Someone is coming for dinner and it's her car mechanician. And I don't want to be sitting in my room yelling at my mic while he's in the other room telling my family about how yesterday our car exploded. So let's get straight into it. Today we're gonna be doing main levels the wrong way. I have a few levels in plan. In particular, Stereo Madness, Polar Guys, X-Step, and to finish it off, Deadlocked. So let's begin with Stereo Madness. And you might be wondering, what is it with Stereo Madness that you can do wrongly? Let's think about it. Stereo Madness has a ship part in the middle. And there are spikes in that ship that literally nobody can die to. Because they're impossible to die to. And I'm planning to get as close as possible to hitting those spikes that are hidden behind pillars. So rule number one, crash into every single spike that you can. Rule number two, you can beat the level. Okay, here comes the first spike right behind this pillar afterwards. And I almost hit the second one. That wasn't quite what I was aiming for, so let's try again. Only after I crash into every single spike that is the hardest to crash into, then I can beat the level. Okay, let's try again. Okay, this time I bounced off of the block, so that doesn't really count. Attempt number three. As they say, third time's the charm. That's probably not what our car mechanician thought when he was fixing up our car for the third time this month. Okay, this time I have to get it. Here we go, and... Okay, I think we can count that as a win. So we got one down, and I'm not sure how many left to go. My legs are hurting so bad, you guys cannot imagine what leg days are like. I literally could not stand up if I wanted to. Okay, here we go again. I think the next spike that we have to crash into is upside down. So this one we have done, and then this one... Okay, that was definitely the second spike. Okay, that's good. So we got two down, and I think two left to go if I remember correctly. Oh, and then I have to crash into that, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, I, I didn't see it. I think it's only that, and then another one after that, and, and then we're done, and then we can move on to the next level. Okay, so let's get it. First we got the first pillar, the second one, and then... I think we can count that as the second spike, it was kind of between the second and the third, but I can claim with a high assurance that nobody ever died there on Stereo Madness. So we got one more left, and then we're done. I... I'm pretty sure that's the closest we're gonna come to dying at the third spike. Okay, so now we died at every single undiable spike, and I think it's time we complete Stereo Madness and move on to the next level. There we go, this was not very hard. And now we can move on to the next level, Polar Geist. <laughs> So there are only three rules when it comes to Polar Geist. First, make it past the first jump without using the orb. Second, make it past the second jump without using the orb. And lastly, beat Polar Geist. So as much as I've heard, it's impossible to do this with 360 FPS, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to 60. And now I believe it's possible to make the first jump without using the orb. Just need a bit of practice and I'm gonna make it. Yeah, thanks, thanks Robtop for giving me tips on how to play your game. I kinda beat like 20 extreme demons, I don't need this. I'm gonna get it, one of these attempts. Oh my god! Oh my god, I actually did that. I actually did that. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. I I, I just did it again. I, I just did it again. I genuinely did not imagine that it would be this not hard. I mean, it's hard, but I would imagine taking like 150 attempts to do it once, not seven or however many it was. Okay, so now we can hopefully make it past the second jump as well. 2,000 years. So I did some research online, and apparently on 60 hertz, the frames are aligned in a way that makes the first jump possible, but the second one impossible. So... There's no way we can do that. Unless... Unless, of course, we get a copy of Polar Geist and change it up. So first things first, we're gonna remove the orbs. Second, I'm gonna perfectly align the spikes and move them exactly 16 blocks apart. There we go. This should now be our version of Polar Geist that is possible to do on 60 Hertz. One. Almost two. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I actually did it. I actually did it. So now all there is to do is not die on Polar Geist. I mean, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Okay, there we go. Challenge completed. But now that made me think. That didn't really take me a lot of time. So why would you have two jumps when you can have three? Let's make it three. Nothing better than three four spike jumps in a row. Let's see how fast I can beat this. One, two, oh, no, 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 
No, I passed it and then I died! You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Okay, good. Good, this was making me lose my mind. Good. Now I need to make sure not to die like I did the first time. Okay, there we go. No more 60 hertz, no more jumping, no more spikes, no more nothing. This is another masterpiece that I have to upload. Make sure to have a go on this and tell me how far you got. The next level I have in mind is X-Step. X-Step, as we all know, has a ship part, not exactly in the middle, just before the middle. And there's a bunch of gravity pads in that ship, right? So when I was just beginning to play GD, I always wondered if it's possible to beat that part while touching every gravity pad possible. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna touch all the gravity pads that we can. So we have to touch as many of these as possible. I ran a short calculation and discovered that there's 20 gravity pads that you can touch at most. So that's what we're gonna aim for. We're gonna go for 20 pads. Let's see how many we can touch on the first attempt. Oh, close one. That was 12, right? Yeah, let's go again. Maybe I can touch all of them this time. Ah, oh, 12 again. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit of a problematic spot, but I think it's possible to do it. Seventeen! Oh my god, I was so close. That was so close. I almost did it. I'm so sure about this attempt that I'm gonna count them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty! Yes! We got them! We got them all! Yes! But that was on practice. Now I have to do the same thing, but from the start. Twenty. Okay, okay, we got them all. Good. Now I just have to not die. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, X-Step with 20 pads touched, completed. That brings us to our final challenge, Deadlocked. So as for deadlock, there are three things that I can do in the level. Firstly, avoid the jump out at the beginning of the level by using the gravity orbs. Second, switch up the UFO gravity through ball timings. And last, whatever this trick is. So if I can do all three of them and successfully be deadlocked on that attempt, I win. Did not get the jump pad right. Let's try again. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, here we go. This is the second trick. And I died to a monster. There we go, that's the first trick again. At least I'm lucky that the first one that is also the hardest is right at the beginning of the level, so I don't have to do it like 60% in. Second trick, let's do it. Almost, I almost had it there. Okay, second trick. Here we go. Oh my god, I did it, I did it. We're upside down. Only one more. If I get one more trick this attempt and then proceed to be deadlocked, then I win, then I'm free. Here it comes, let's do this. And go! Ah, oh, no. I almost had that. Okay, here we go. We're at the part and jump! Oh my god, I did it! Yes! Okay, now everything I need to do is just not die to deadlocked. If I can remember how the level goes, that is. Oh no, oh no, this part. I don't remember this. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I get for not practicing deadlocked. Later. Okay, nice, we got them all, let's go. This is it, this has to be the attempt. There we have it! Deadlocked done in a way that no one has ever done it before. And with that, the challenge is complete. That's gonna be it for today, everyone. Before I get myself into any more unnecessary efforts, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Today, I progressed on four main geometry-